Hi, my name is John Dubler. This is my story. I grew up in the Hudson Valley area of New York um, State. I had family, mom, dad, one brother, and we lived actually lived with my grandparents growing up and had a small little farm where we raised some animals. Um, my parents were um, pretty diligent about getting us to um, the local Catholic church on Sunday, so I grew up in church and I grew up going to Sunday school. Um, I learned all the, all the traditions, but you know, I learned about God, I learned about Jesus, but I never really um, learned who he was. So um, that went on. When I turned 16, I got my driver's license, and my parents said, okay, um, you know, we've been taking you to church. Now you owe your driver's license. You can take yourself if you want to keep going. And um, I didn't really see a good reason to keep going, so I stopped and hadn't really been back after that for quite a while, except for um, weddings and um, funerals, until um, I turned 34 and I met met my wife Joyce and um, there was something different about her and I saw it right away and um, I was interested and, and I went to visit her and she was living in West Virginia at the time and um, she took me to her church and, and it was a little Presbyterian church and it was like a family there and it wasn't, wasn't something I expected from church, not what I knew at all and um, that sort of piqued my interest a little bit and then um, one time when I was down visiting she gave me a gift of um, the book The Left Behind. Um, series, the first book in the series. I started reading about that. It's like, nah, this can't be true. And I went and found my old Bible and started looking through it. And it's like, wow, this this really is it. it Jesus really does. This it, it really is the story about Jesus. And I started reading my Bible, and it's like, wow, this is. I never knew this growing up. I, you know, I'd learned the stories and and learned about Jesus, but I didn't know who he was. And it, he started working in my heart. And then in um, August of two thousand and one, I sat down with a couple friends from that little Presbyterian church in West Virginia, my friends Harry and Paige, and they um, used the evangelism explosion um, curriculum, and um, we ran through that, and, and I gave my life over to Jesus that day. And um, it's it, it's changed everything. It's like I, I had been living um, a life of just, you know, doing whatever I wanted to do, spending my money on whatever I wanted to spend it on, you know, whatever caught my interest at the time. And um, God, God's changed um, changed me a lot. He's got me focused on his kingdom now, and that's something I never thought about before. He's got me focused on other people um, and, and take away the self-centeredness that I'd felt for so so long. And, um, you know, really reaching out, using, using the gifts he's given me for, um, uh, for somebody else's benefit, not just my own benefit, like I had for so many years. And it's just, it's, it's complete change from going from, being just not a non-believer, but a um, but just an agnostic to um, being fully fully involved in the church and being an overseer and serving and and doing everything I can in the church and um, you know it's, that's my story and it's what God's doing in my life and keeps doing in my life and I'm looking forward to what He's got planned for me for the future. Thank you.